welcome to Games from Folk Tales, a podcast that mixes historical research and tabletop role-playing settings. I'm your host, Timothy Ferguson. This week, Wood Magic by John Buchan. John Buchan was a Scottish novelist and poet who died in 1940. This is Buchan attempting to be a 9th century peasant. A grog or companion in Ars Magica could repeat this. I will walk warily in the wise woods on the fringes of eventide, for the covert is full of noises and the stir of nameless things. I have seen in the dusk of the beaches the shapes of the lords that ride, and down in the marish hollow I have heard the lady who sings, and once in an April gloaming I met a maid on the sward, all marble white and gleaming, and tender and wild of eye. I, Jehan the hunter, who speak am a grown man, middling hard, but, but I dreamt a month of the maid, and wept, I knew not why. Down by the edge of the firs, in a coppice of heath and vine, is an old moss-grown altar, shaded with briar and bloom. Dennis the priest hath told me twas the Lord Apollo's shrine in the days ere Christ came down from God to the virgin's womb. I never go past, but I doff my cap and avert my eyes. Were Dennis to catch me, I trow, I'd do penance for half a year, for once I saw a flame there, and the smoke of a sacrifice, and a voice spake out of the thicket that froze my soul with fear. Wherefore, to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Mary, the Blessed Mother, and the kindly saints as well, I will give glory and praise, and them I cherish the most, for they have the keys to heaven and save the soul from hell, but likewise I will spare for Lord Apollo a grace, and bow for the Lady Venus, as a friend, but not as a thrall. Tis true they are out of heaven, but some day they may win the place, for God's a kittle cattle, and a wise man honours them all. Your saga may vary. <laughs>